welcome back to Designs by Shot. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I add my pictures to my rolling tray sets. I'm going to show you how I do my trays. I'm going to show you how I do my ashtrays, my stash jars, and my lighters all in this one video. So it's going to kind of be a little lengthy, but I'm going to try to make it as short and detailed as possible. But before we get into the video, I want to say shout out to Peace Brand Clothing yet again for another bomb t-shirt. It's the Peace For Me shirts i will be leaving the information on the video for you to contact them to get your shirt please let them know i sent you if you do contact them but besides that let's get right into the video okay so we have our blank canvas so the first thing we're going to do is go get our picture so we're going to click upload you will click upload image go to browse and then i'll just show you browse and then you will search for your picture but i already have mine uploaded so it's right here. So we're going to go to insert images. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is zoom out a little bit. All right, so I'm going to duplicate this picture because I want this image for my um, lighter. And I'm going to make it 2.6 by 2.6. And then I'm going to duplicate again. Because one's going to be for my tray, one's going to be for my ashtrays. So for my tray, I'm going to go to images. I'm going to go to round square. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to go over here to the right hand corner at the bottom and click contour. I'm going to hide the second layer and then boom, we got a full square now. I'm going to put it over the image, unlock it, and cover majority of the picture as much as I can. Now I'm going to highlight it and slice. Right, now we have that for the inside of the square, I mean the inside of the tray. So I'm going to change the width to 5.9 and the height 9.2. Alright, so now we have that. Why is this so big? This is supposed to be the lighter. 2.6 by 2.6. I think this is the lighter, wasn't it? Anywho. Um, so now we are going to grab a circle and we're going to cover as much of the image as we possibly can. Actually, yeah. I'm going to, try to, I'm going to leave the wire out because I know it's not going to fit in there. So now we are going to cut this. And we are going to make this, um, what are we making this? 3.2 by 3.2 for the ashtray. And actually, I totally forgot. We are going to be wrapping the stash jar with this image. So that is going to be, we're going to do the width is 10.2 and the height is 3. So some of your images when doing it like this may be too stretched out and it may not look right. So check it out and that's definitely not going to work. So we're not going to be able to wrap the entire jar this way. So we would do it halfway. And if that works for you, cool. There you go. Okay, so we have the tray image, we have the out of the jar, outer jar image, we have the ashtray image, and we have the lighter image. So I like to add wee leaves to my set. So now I'm going to go to images and I'm going to search wee leaf. Now this is not going to come up in um, under Cricut Access, but I already have a wee leaf 
in my picture. So I just need to find it. Okay, insert images. All right, so now I'm going to do the top of my stash jar, which is 2.7 or rather something like that. I'm just gonna make sure this fits inside of that circle. And then for the inside of my ashtray, going to 0.8 and then I'm going to duplicate it eight times three four five six seven eight okay so I believe this is everything now so I'm going to duplicate this image because I will be cutting some clear code to go over the image on the stash jar, which I will show you here shortly. Okay, so this is everything. Just checking the sizing of everything, make sure it's all correct. Now I'm gonna click make it. Alrighty, everything looks good. Everything looks good, all right. So now we can go and key print, continue. And we're going to print our image. Hit the printer, find the printer you want, leave add bleed on, and we'll click print. So now we are adding it to the Cricut mat. Make sure it is lined up properly. And if you have any issues with print and cut, um, you can watch my latest video for the Cricut School. I teach a lesson going over crit, over crit, <laughs> over print and cut. And if you're having any issues as far as your cutting not coming out properly, um, the video will show you why and what to do with that. So I have this set on light car stock. Once again, I always cut all my paper on light car stock. So now that I have it on there, everything looks good to go. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click the C. Make sure you pull your machine out because it will go all the way through the machine and will hit the wall. going to cut the clear easy liner paper now for this I may have to tape it down because my mat is no longer as sticky as I would like so I'm just going to take some electric tape and I'm just going to put it at the very top bottom
put it in. I'm gonna also cut this on light cardstock. Off. And I have it taped over here onto my computer monitor so I can use it at a later time for the same reason. Alright, so now we're cutting the vinyl. And I'm going to change the setting over to just regular vinyl. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I lay everything out. I'm going to go ahead and weed out ow, my weed leaves. we're going to do the tray I'm gonna to try to do this upside down without making it crooked so you can see a little better we're just gonna bend up the corner Holding it down on the back. So I usually do my tray sitting on my lap so I can see better, but for video purposes, I'm just going to stand up. I'm going to line up the corners. And I think I do have it over to the right just a little bit. Too much, but that's okay. Any of my trays that I do, and I feel like they're not um, as good as I want them to be, I sell them for like $5 less or something like that. I'll take a little bit off the price, and people will still buy it. But remember, crafting is art. Art is, there's no perfection with art because there's no, what am I trying to say? You can have a look you're going for, but at the end of the day, anything that is handmade, you know, it's, a, it's an art. So, end of the day, it's still perfection, even when it's not perfect, because it's handmade, so you're not a machine, you're not machine making it. And even machines make mistakes, so just imagine somebody who's hand making it. Now I'm getting all the air bubbles out.
He's filling for air bubbles and getting them out. So that's the tray. And so for the jar, you want to put the lid on top of the jar and turn it and tighten it just for this part right here. So for my um, wee leaves, I usually don't use transfer tape. For one, I don't want to have to worry about the paint coming up. But for two, I just feel like it's not that much work to even worry about getting transfer tape. So how I'm going to do my picture, I want my picture to go this way. So I want my wee leaf right on top, going the stem going the same way towards the picture. So I'm going to lay the middle of my wee leaf down first and then lay the rest down. And sometimes the leaves will stick together and you just got to pull it apart. Gently. So I could have put it down just a little bit more, but it works for me. So next thing I'm going to do is add the picture. I'm lay my jar down. Once again, this is something that is easier done in your lap, but I'm going to just stand up. Luckily, I have a little crease right here on my table. So I'm just going to line it up as good as possible and then lay it down flat. So once I have that on, now I'm going to put the clear liner on top of it. So I'm going to show you what it looks like without it. And I'll show you what it looks like with it. Now, I think it's best to just lay it like this and then just smooth it around. And I'm still a little off.
clear liner is removable so I'm just scraping it up against the picture to make sure it is stuck to it so it is no longer removable So that is afterwards a little air bubble in there that I couldn't get out but that's okay so that's how the jar looks and I'm gonna take the lid off the jar put it back on my stand so I can epoxy it and I'm gonna put the jar off to the side now we're gonna do the lighter for the lighter we're gonna do the same way we do the outside of the stash jar We're going to put it on there and we're just going to wrap it around. All right, then I already had these pre-cut, that's why you didn't see me cut it. Um, I just have a stack of these off to the side for my lighters. But then I'm just going to peel this. And place it on top of the lighter and wrap it around as well. Oh my goodness. I'm just rubbing the clear liner just like we did in the stash jar. And the air bubbles out. I usually don't even get air bubbles. It, I would get the air bubbles while I'm doing a video. So yeah, that's that. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had an air bubble on a lighter before. Okay, whatever. And then that is the lighter. So glossy look without worrying about epoxy and all that other stuff and I love the jars more when they're fully wrapped around but this works too I actually do like this so the clear liner I'm telling you is is, is going I want to try to put the clear liner on the actual tray as well and see um, how that looks after you epoxy so I may do a video on that once I actually try it because you see how my color is popping with this printable vinyl with the shipping. Now, no, don't get me wrong. This image itself is just a very good quality picture or image. Um, and I tell people that too. Like they don't, a lot of people don't take in consideration the quality of their picture they're sending me for me to put on the rolling tray. But if it's not a good quality picture, there's, I mean, I can try to edit it a little bit, for, but for the most part, I can't do anything with the quality of the picture. But I will say shipping labels um, are more are more dull than printable vinyl. I'm just laying this inside and spreading it out. And I'm getting all kinds of air bubbles. And I usually do not have this issue as far as getting air bubbles. So it makes me worry about how the epoxy is going to come out. Air bubbles and epoxy is not a good mix, so. but whatever. Okay, like I said, art isn't perfect, but it's still perfection. Or it doesn't have to be perfect, I should say, but it is still perfection. We will always have an idea of what we want it to look like in our head, and it may or may not come out like that. If it does, great. If it doesn't, that's fine too. All right, so now I'm going to put my weed leaves around the inside of the ashtray just because this looks so plain to me. So I just like to spice it up a little bit. Once again, I do not use transfer tape when it comes to this because it's just it's real simple. No need for all that. But of course, you can use transfer tape. 
and I just put it on my nail and I just lay it. Let me see if I can make it stand out again. Lay it inside. And that's it. Sorry, I know you can't see it, but if I move it up more for you guys to see, I won't be able to see. But yeah, so just lay the weed leaves inside of the ashtray. I don't know if I even finished that thought or not, but if not, if I did, I'll just repeat myself because I can't remember if I finished that thought. But um, I want to try putting the clear liner on the tray and ashtray when I'm using shipping labels on other pictures that are not as bold as these and see what difference does that make. So um, I may do a video on that once I try it for myself. Because even though I do love using ship shipping labels, only because it's cheaper, but I have noticed the quality is not as good as printable vinyl. And I say it's cheaper because you can buy shipping labels in bulk. Like I can buy, I think it's like 200 maybe or 100 shipping labels. But with printable vinyl, for the Cricut brand at least, I can't. And I'm not sponsored by Cricut, so um, I'm not paid to say that. But I truly do like Cricut brand printable vinyl better than any other printable vinyl. Just because, like I said, the quality is so good with it. So I may do a video with a picture that quality is not as good as this one and do shipping label versus printable vinyl and then shipping label without the clear coat and then with the clear or clear liner. So that's how it looks. I'm gonna look a lot nicer with just the weed leaves added. All right, and see that is that. And now we're going to epoxy this thing. Okay, so this is the epoxy I use, Amazing Clear Cast, and I buy it by the gallon. Um, I do not get paid, to, and I'm not sponsored by Amazing Clear Cast, but I literally do live by this epoxy. I do not use any other epoxy for anything that I do, tumblers, mugs, tray sets, whatever. I only use Amazing Clear Cast. Absolutely, absolutely love it. So these are cups I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to fill them up to here because I'm actually, I have this to epoxy and something else, but um, that's that. When you do your epoxy, you want to make sure that you are pouring both A and B into the cup equally. So you want to stop at the same place on both sides of the cup because you want to mix an equal amount and when you do epoxy you do want to wear a protective mask because there are hazardous chemicals in the epoxy and it will affect you over time when breathing this in I'm just going to pour one side into the other. I'm going to scrape it out. All of it into the cup.
how we are going to stir. So if you watch any epoxy videos, they everybody will tell you stir slow, stir in the same motion. I just stir the cup. I don't worry about going slow or any of that. Just stir till it's no longer cloudy. Because the reason why they tell you to stir slow in the same motion is to prevent air bubbles. But if you're going to use a heat gun, which I am going to use, the air bubbles are really kind of irrelevant. So it's going to get cloudy at first. And then you're going to just keep stirring until it is clear. Yes, I'm switching hands because my arm is tired. It looks good to me. I'm just going straight to size. Make sure it's all mixed together really good. Okay. So, first thing I do is my tray. So, I'm just going to pour an amount on one side of the tray amount that I feel like is enough. I don't measure it or anything like that. It's kind of no way of telling just to pour and go. And then I'm going to tilt it as I spread it out with my finger. And once you start spreading it out, you will realize if you need more epoxy or not, which I do think I will need more. much easier to get in my corner without nails on. That's one thing I do not like about having my nails on. So I'm going to pour some more so I don't have enough for my edges. I always rather have more than enough epoxy because if I don't have enough epoxy then I have to worry about going over it again once it dries but if I have more than enough then we don't have those problems. So far, I haven't really had an issue with pouring too much epoxy, so, so let me not jinx myself. Now I'm just going around the edges. So the bottom of my tray right now is not painted but um, I will show you after I epoxy my tray and it is completely cured, then I paint, paint the bottom. I just do that because it's, if I paint the top first and then do the tray and then paint the bottom, I can just get the tray done faster, I feel like. So that's why I do that. Plus that way if I have any mishaps on the bottom of the tray for my gloves like for instance if I have epoxy on my glove and I touch the bottom of the tray it doesn't ruin the paint job because I'm just going to paint over it anyways and add my branding sticker and I just prefer to do it that way I don't really have <laughs> I don't really have like a good explanation why I do it that way that's just my preference so now I'm just going over the edges of the picture and making sure I cover the edges really good because them edges like to, like to peek through that epoxy for some reason. Okay. So now this is good. I'm going to put this off to the side. I'm going to do the ashtray. And same thing with the ashtray. I'd rather pour too much than not enough. 
haven't really had any issues with pouring too much into the ashtray. Now I'm just spreading it around. Spreading the epoxy around. So now I'm gonna have the picture completely covered. I let it all drizzle down to the bottom and then I just start going over the wheelies. And I just spread it out. So that is that. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my lid. So my lid now, I do prefer um, to do, to think less is more when it comes to my lid. Because I don't want to put too much because I don't want it to drizzle down the cup and have the lid stuck to the cup. Even though if I've had that happen plenty of times, it's not hard to get it off. I just don't want to have to deal with that so I squeeze my cup a little bit when I go around the edge of the lid to prevent it from turning but as you can see it doesn't always work <laughs> so I'm just wiping the epoxy around the jar lid, making sure it's all covered. Okay. Now we are going to get the heat gun. Okay. So now we are going to just turn the heat gun on and go over our set and get any air bubbles out of there. Okay, so now we are going to wait for this to cure. I'm going to give it five to six hours and I'm going to come back and check on it. So I will see you then. All right, so it's been five hours and the set is completely dry. Just wanna show you. So the lid is stuck to the Polar Pop cup. So what I would just do is I would just push in on the lid right here and it's gonna pop right off. Do it all the way around. And then the inside has a little bit of the cup left there, so I just scrape it with my nails. But you can always use this thing. that and then we have 
the lighter here and that is the complete set and that is how I do my custom rolling tray sets all right so that is the video I know it was kind of long I tried to make it as short as possible and speed up as much as possible but that is how I add pictures to my custom rolling tray sets if you have any questions please leave me a comment below if I get enough questions I just may go ahead and do a live tutorial on this um, on this topic so let me know in the comments if you need a live tutorial or let me know any questions you may have over the video but I do hope it was really simple and easy as it truly is to do and to make if you had any issues as far as coverage goes with the epoxy then you would just do another layer of epoxy and hopefully that would take care of it and then that is it but that is all for my video as always please like comment and subscribe and until next time guys stay safe and stay blessed